Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to day three on PHP for beginners brought to you by the TripleH.com. So in our last video, we downloaded PHP with WAMP server. And we also test our WAMP server was running successfully. If any of you are having any problems, please go ahead and let me know so that we all can move together. Uh, guys, the very first question, what PHP is about? PHP is all about functions and there are a lot of functions that, uh, that are already being written for us by the PHP team. So if you will go to this particular site, php.net, here you can find a list of functions that you want to work with. So let me go to a page where we can actually search about our functions. PHP.net. Here is a list of the functions you can look for. PHP. And here I can, if I will type about any blah 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 function, they will give us the all details what the function is about and how to run that function and what that function will do for us. And we can also write our own functions and we can uh, set our parameters what that function will do. So this is all about PHP. Don't worry if everything is going over your head. I know it will happen. But once we will be moving forward, once we will be writing uh, codes by ourselves, then it will make more sense. Then what is a PHP info function? This PHP info function is the important thing in order to do anything in PHP. Last time, uh, what I showed you guys was how to check PHP info from here. Okay, if you will come to localhost, you will click PHP info. It will run that PHP info function and it will give you all the details about your PHP. What your PHP is what version you are working on, which all libraries are enabled right now, and how you can go about everything about PHP. But there is something that you can do of your own. And how to check your PHP version manually, let me tell you guys. So do one thing, again, come back to the drive where you install your WAMP server, go to this particular folder which says WAMP, Go inside the www folder. Inside it, you can create a new folder and you can name it to anything you want. I already have a folder here called day two. I'm going to name it to day three and I will delete all the files I had. Now go ahead, guys, create a new file and name it to info.php. In order to run any PHP file, in order to make your server understand that the codes written inside a file is PHP, you will have to name it with .php extension, okay? Then you can drag it with any of your text editor. I prefer using this in type. It is a free text editor. You can search for it on Google. I will open this file here. Or also, if you don't have any text editor, you can open it with Notepad. It does not matter, guys. Now, how to write a PHP code? So, this is a basic syntax in order to start any PHP file. There would be a less of than sign, then a caution mark, then I'm writing PHP, then I have a caution mark and a greater than sign. So, here I'm starting my PHP and here I am ending my PHP, guys. Now, in order to check the function or in order to run any function how we have to write functions guys so I'm going to say PHP info then these two brackets and a semicolon in the end so this PHP info is already been created by PHP for us so this function itself knows what it have to do you don't have to you know, define this function. You don't have to write anything for this function. It's already been defined in PHP libraries. And this function is smart enough to understand what it has to do. And in order to write any function, we always need the open and a closing bracket. In the last, we will have to end our statement with a semicolon. 
whatever you do in PHP, once you are ending that particular uh, statement, you will have to use semicolons in the last. So, guys, I'm going to run this particular file, and you will see the same results I have here right now. So, I'm going to remove whatever is here. After localhost, I'm going to enter my folder name, that is day 3. After day 3, I'm going to append my file name. That would be info.php. If I hit C, we get the same results. So in this way, you can check your PHP version or any information you want about the PHP. Or you can go to your local host and hit that particular tab to check your PHP information. So uh, guys, this is all about PHP info. And uh, next time, we would be dealing with php.ini file. That is the most important file you should know, and from there you can set uh, like you can you know customize your alt settings manually. So till that time, goodbye.